Oh, I forgot my mic. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back <sighs> to another vlog. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Wednesday, October 2nd. Can't believe we're already in October. Usually, guys, I vlog on a Saturday, but um, I think there's a lot of things going on today. Like, for example, pray for your boy, or I guess when you're watching this, I've already done it, but um, I'm gonna be preaching for high school chapel today. There's gonna be a volleyball game going on So I'm kind of thinking about Getting some b-roll. I kind of want to tell you guys what I'm preaching about this this Today, so I'm preaching out of Isaiah chapter 6. I'm here at work and um, My co-worker parked right beside me so I'm kind of You know embarrassed too Film a bit, but it's okay. I'll just stand here and I did. Hi. I watched his vlog yesterday. Yeah, what you think? What you think? It was good. You had really good um, transitions and um, editing is great. And then you talked about the. And then um, uh, it was good. It's great. Praise God. <laughs> Can I touch it? It's so fluffy. What is this? Can you hear it? Hello. Wow. The man gave so me fun. a Bible. At Bible College. Yes. At Bible College. At Bible College. Wow. Yeah. I would walk down here and everyone's like, what are you doing? I was like, someone needs a Bible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yes. That's kind of embarrassing for me, guys. I forgot. I forgot my Bible at the door <laughs> at, of my home, and so I need this to preach. All right. How's it going, guys? Good. All right. I like to hear that. My main point that I want to share with you is since God is a holy God, we are to be a holy people. So I want us to stand for the reading of God's word. All right, let's read this together. Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. Be glorified, may your Holy Spirit be in this presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, you guys can sit down. You guys excited? Come on, this is the Bible we're talking about. Now Isaiah describes three things on what he saw about the Lord. Number one, the Lord was high and exalted. Number two, the Lord was seated on a throne. And number three, that the train of his robe filled the temple. This robe that the king, that the Lord was wearing, filled the whole temple, filled the whole place. Do you guys see? Do you guys get that picture? Do you guys see that the Lord is full of glory? Do you guys see that? Do you guys get that picture? Like one was over there and he was crying out to the other, holy, holy, holy. And the one that was there was screaming to the one over there and he was saying, holy, holy. was and is and is to come what if all right i got a question all right think about this question you guys know the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven you guys know that part like what if okay what if we constantly worship the god just like it is in heaven Right? Because in heaven we know that they're always worshiping the Lord. And how cool would it be as God's people, as Regent Christian Academy, that we're doing the exact same thing. Yes, in song, but in our actions and in our day-to-day -day living that we are worshiping and glorifying the Lord Jesus. A holy God sends His Holy Son down to earth who lived a holy life and went to the cross 
and died for the sins of us unholy people. That is the good news. And I have said the word holy so many times. I know someone's keeping count here. Like, it's crazy. I'm not sure about you guys, but like hundreds and thousands of people went to Vancouver last week, right? You guys saw that? And there was like that climate change, like little thing. And there was a whole thing. I didn't even have to go on social media and Facebook to, to know that was happening. It was just a lot of word of mouth. All right, and they were rallying because they were passionate about this situation. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna point that back on you. Can we not, as Regent Christian Academy, can we not rally together and get excited when it comes to living for Jesus? You guys are dead silent. But when it comes to climate change, you're like, yeah, let's go. Can we not get excited for living for Jesus? Come on. And so set us apart in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You guys saw my preaching. Yeah, to God be the glory. Oh my gosh, my trunk is open. <laughs> now I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm about to watch a volleyball game, but before I watch a volleyball game, I have to drop a package off. I, I sold something the other day. I just dropped off the package. It was actually super easy. I'm just at McDonald's because I'm hungry. Hi. Um, can I just get like an iced frap? Bible study. I'm super late. Well, not really. It's right at seven. Haven't left my house yet. That's okay. Filipino time. My mom is giving me dinner to go. I got some fried fish and squid and some clams. I mean mussels. You know, typical Filipino seafood dinner and I'm gonna be eating it during Bible study. Hope they don't mind. Hey! Hi. Hey, nice Welcome. to Barrier. It's a bit like when you fall out with someone you love, like a family member or a close friend, and you can't look them in the eye. It's like there's something that's come between you. I am gonna create the human race knowing they're going to sin, but I'm gonna bring them back in, in relationship with me through the death of Jesus Christ. And that's how much I love them. So I just came back from Bible study. Um, it was good. We talked about why Jesus needed to die on the cross and how it was the only it is the only way that our sins can be forgiven. And we talked about how we need to forgive others and to ask for forgiveness as well and it got deep it got deep like like deep wrap it up here so see you guys later peace